All right, guys. I'm really about to talk about something today that has annoyed me. So let's just get into the video. I'm gonna keep the intro short and sweet. I'm Anissa, if you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're one of my returning subscribers, as always, thank you for choosing to watch me, being a part of my little, you know, subscriber tribe and hanging out with me again. <sighs> All right. I guess I don't know, like, I, I watch YouTube drama videos and like things about ordering issues with companies and blah, blah, blah. Like, I watch it, but I've never really made a video about it, you know? Never, like, I've had opinions about things, but never been personally involved in something, so I decided I'm gonna stay in my lane, okay? Today, I'm gonna talk about my experience with ordering my Makeup Shayla ColourPop collab set. First of all, one thing I understand, Shayla's the influencer in this, has no parts in the fulfillment of it. I just wanted to support her. I have no no qualms, no qualms. So I'm really removing her out of this situation because I, I don't, even when I tweeted like, it's taking forever to get my order, she's like, you, like interacted with me. You know what I mean? Like she just liked it. It was like, I made it kind of funny, like with a little like jiffy, giffy, I don't even know what you call it. But like, just like one of those things like, dang, like I'm checking my email twice a day, minimally, to see if there's an update. So, let's rewind back. So, why did I choose to order from ColourPop? I think that could be a good place to start. Well, I have heard so much good things about ColourPop. Like, my, um, someone who worked with me in my department prior, she loved their lippies. Always talking about, like, oh, they're not expensive, nothing. You see them all over the place. They're not expensive. They're dupes for the Kylie kits. I still didn't buy. Even at, like, a $6 price point, I'm kind of one person. I don't care if it's a penny. Or a million like I sometimes like to see product in person try it on see how it swatches it's therapeutic to me I like to spend time in makeup stores it's my happy place so what was it? I think last month um, I finally got ColourPop lips lippies because they were in Ulta and I was like holy smokes I want to try the lippies then I hear the makeup Shayla collab and I see it and I'm like shoot that is good like every piece of that collection is good i want the whole thing i want the whole thing so i went onto the color pop website i think this is like the date after it came out i'm gonna grab my phone in a second just to confirm the timeline of ordering but day after i had the the first kit not the pr kit just the kit that had the palette the two highlighters the three lippies and the gloss all in one to get great deal i was like good i will like the whole thing anyways i've seen like, I can tell I'm going to like the shade range. I've seen it on the demo. I'm going to like the shade range. Let's get it. I forgot to finish the checkout process. It went out of stock. However, the PR kit was still in stock. And I was like, okay, yeah, let's do the PR kit. It'll be cute keepsake anyways. I thought it would be fun to unbox with you all on here. The whole nine yards. Forget it. I know it's a little bit more. But, you know, I, I feel like I can do it. Not, not a bit. So, I ordered that instead now they've gotten my order they've gotten my coin i'm ready to receive my palette all right so let's get into the timeline of things i already knew i was late from the initial ordering from the initial launch date which was on april 28th i did my order on april 30th so like i told you i had put things in the cart totally forgot about it i was like wait did i get that yet or no and realized okay on the 30th i need to go ahead and place this order on that I got the order confirmed on the 30th awesome and it just kept saying that it was like waiting to be fulfilled so every time I went in to check the status of it waiting to be fulfilled waiting to be fulfilled I'm like can, can we can you at least fulfill it for me please like I just want to make sure I got it I want to make sure my $70 is not gone to the wind I like, I love ordering online. It still gets me anxious. It still does. It still does. It just does. Okay? Like, I, I, I like instant gratification. All right, so following the sequence here, I ordered on April 30th. On May 4th, 
I received an email with the update apologizing that it's taking longer. It was super popular. Looked like this was some issue going on with them. And they also included like a little discount code for $5 off. And just again, super sorry. Thank you for your patience. And I'm like, okay. They also said that the shipping date will be in the next day or so. Again, just holding on to faith here. I'm like, all right, I'm not going to miss out on a pallet. Because... So I got that email on the 4th just with the update by that Monday. So Friday was the 4th. So by Monday the 7th, I had gotten the um, confirmation that my shipment was on the way. I was like, woohoo. Then on Thursday, so three days later, the shipment was out for delivery. I, again, with my work schedule, it ended up being delivered to my leasing office. And then I ended up picking it up on like Friday afternoon. So just later in the afternoon, I picked it up. I was working a split at work, dropped it off, went back to work. So I looked at it. I was like, okay, it's there. Good. Didn't really open and play with it yet. So Saturday rolls around and I had a whole schedule lined up. I was like, okay, I can do all the unboxing, film it, do a get ready with me and have some footage to edit to get this all up for you all in a timely manner. You know, I'm working at it. So I'm unpacking everything. I'm doing like just a shot of the whole packaging. So everything laid out in the PR kit. So like the unveiling of it kind of sort of, but not the actual products yet. So get all that footage. Then I actually start to unpack the individual things. The first thing I unpack is the palette. So pause. I'm gonna show you what I unpacked. First and foremost, I love this packaging. I'm I, I like I'm actually happy I ordered a PR kit because again, I think it is such an incredible, incredible ability for a woman of color of an influencer to have a collab like this at an attainable price point. I'm just here for it. So I get it. I have the perception palette. I took it out of his unit cart and I'm ready. And then I have my palette in hand and I'm ready to open it up. I'm ready to do like some little zoom angles, get in there so you can see it. You see the names are on the back. You see the names are on the front front and then I was like wait th this area looks all oh, looks the same am I missing something I was like wait I, I don't I don't I don't think that's how that's supposed to be so then I'm like wait no 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 this did not happen to me no no like literally in my head, I'm like, no, maybe I messed up. Maybe I, I didn't realize that. Maybe there was, maybe there's something different. Maybe one's a more metallic shift. Maybe one's a set. I, I don't know. I really was like trying to find every excuse of why three colors look exactly the same, side by side, different names. I was having a moment. And then I was like, let me let me go to the website. Let me pull this up. And I pull it up, and then. I see the photo and then I'll try to make sure I insert a clip. And then I was like, <sighs> you mean to tell me fulfilling it was late. I see other people who bought the palette swatching it. They have their, they're loving theirs. Mine for some reason is taking forever to fulfill. I don't even care about that. But at the end of the day, I didn't get just, a palette that had duplicate shades doing putting in here like this the same shades right here you're telling me that that I got after waiting okay I, indeed I received a faulty palette I went into panic mode because I was like, all right, this seems like it's a limited edition. They're not seeing it's like a collection that they're going to be restocking even though some from previous influencer collabs that they're still pieces available for sale this sold out once like it already sold out once I'm like it's gonna sell out again I'm gonna be screwed screwed also with the fact that this happened on a Saturday me going in I'm emailing them and I'm knowing that they're only in their offices from Monday through Friday to answer for customer service issues and who knows how many other customer service issues again it was just too unpredictable so I ordered another palette i used the discount code they gave me for five dollars off but i ordered just the solo dolo perception palette okay so now i'm like 
let me at least tweet them. Maybe, who knows? Who knows could come of it? I'll just be very respectful in the tweet. And let them know, like, there's an issue here. I need a little help. I just want my palette. So, my tweet read the following. Well, I finally get my ColourPop with Makeup Shayla collection and the pal and my palette is messed up. Ordering another because I can't miss out on this palette. I know it's not Shayla's fault. I still want to support this collab. I email ColourPop, but they're open weekdays. And then the emoji, because like that's really how I felt. Like, ooh, like this really is like sucky timing. Um, I also attached a photo of it, and then they responded with check your dms love and i just reply back thank you just respond it now going to my dms yes they did dm me they were like oh no love what is your order number and email address love i said hi thank you for reaching out to me about this here's my info i gave them my order number and my email but that's them responding in the white my response in the blue and then nothing this, I sent my response around 4.28 p.m. Since then, they've been active on Twitter. I don't know what's taking so long to get back to me. I don't know what the follow-up's gonna be. That's the part that makes me go from literally like, all right, aggravated to really freaking annoyed. Like, obviously it's an aggravating situation, but maybe, you know, it can remedy it. Granted, you feel like you're cared about as a customer. But then, like, not to have the DM respond and not like, okay, you can expect someone to reach out to you. I understand I already emailed them, but I'm now addressing you on your social media where you already told me to, to contact, like, respond to DMs. And we're having, trying to establish contact there. And I would just hope that there would have been some type of response to that. But there isn't. I don't know what's going to go on with this situation. Right now, I'm annoyed. I hope that it does get remedied. I don't know how they, I think... I don't know. I don't want to send back a full kit to wait to get another one. I just want the correct palette. That's it. A company like this, knowing the size of influence that Shayla has, they should be smart in preparing for that. And they should be able to, to at least respond quicker when they say we're experiencing a higher volume of orders when it comes to this and our processing time is slowed down. I, I think unex four days, four days, 48 hours, you could have probably let me know about that. I honestly thought that they were gonna actually just finally fulfill it during a restock. I was ready for some conspiracy theory like that to happen because I just hear so much drama when it comes to like these companies partnering with influencers and things reselling out, not coming back, all of a sudden re coming back. I just hear a lot of drama and I've always been weary of experiencing myself. Nevertheless, I hope it can get resolved right now. I'm just like, I don't know. I, I don't know if I will be purchasing another big collab from them. I may just keep the lipsticks that I like, but those are in Ulta so I could just go there. I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to interact with this business going forward. I think they, everyone should be smarter when they're partnering with influencers. Staff temporary people to fulfill orders. Get the quicker communication when you're experiencing high volume. Do better quality checks because I can't be the only person experiencing this. With that being said, if you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much. I know it's probably been a little bit longer. But I really could not go to sleep without hanging out with you all and even though it's 2 a.m. letting you know this information so I can share my experience. So if it happens to you, you're not surprised, like buyer beware, order at your own risk. I can't say that this company has the proper checks and balances in place to ensure that these limited edition precious items are being handled with the most care when it comes to ensuring quality and thoroughness so i hope everything does get better with this situation i'll keep you all posted thank you again for hanging out with me i will catch you on my next video bye